Oh man. You guys, I cut my bangs the other day and I didn't do like a really good job. So we're a little bit of a weird mess. Okay, I got somebody in the house. I'm so excited. All right, can anybody guess who it is? Can you hear that? Can you hear the giggles already? Well, come on, girlfriend. Let's show everybody who's in the house. All right, let me just tell you, we're about to, there she is. There she is. Hello. <laughs> I just got a glimpse of your picture up there. Which picture? That picture of you looking all glam. Oh, that picture. That picture. Um, you guys, who is this girl? It is Jen is in the house. Jen bought, to, as my husband calls her, Jen bought in two, but it's. <laughs> Jen Botano. That works. Um, yes. That works. Hey, cheers. Hey, cheers, Jen Bonato. And it's a pleasure to be here with the lovely Andrea Garvey. For tea time. Andrea Gargoogle. Eh, Jen, Jen. <laughs> chin, chin. <laughs> we have fun together. Okay, Too I'll much. tell you one of the main reasons. I'm try I was trying to hear. Let's go this mm -hmm. way. Not get there. Get no, no, here. get closer. Up here, girl. There we go. Here we go. Mm. I like to boss Jen around. Mm. She's yeah. a little bossy pants. I um, called her that when we were okay. really Ooh, together. I had to be taller. She told me to stop singing. Stop talking. Just kidding. She's like, Shh, okay, don't sing that song one more time. It's oh my God. It's sing it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'll keep singing. When the sun meets the dawn. Da, 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 it's it's some more. Stop singing She's the like, song. Do not sing no. the song one more time. I do have to say. Jen has the most incredible voice. And I remember you, I, it was right at, okay, let's just go right from the beginning. Okay. All right. And then I want to tell you about Jen singing because you are, in, you are probably mo one of the most creative people I know in all the areas. <laughs> true. Oh, well, I, true. I will say thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm even wearing Jen's earrings, which we'll talk about oh, in a minute. They're so cute. Yeah, on they're her. so cute. No, they're so cute. On you. You're so cute. All right, so, all right, how do we first meet? Tell everybody. I think it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we first met. We were at a Tracy Verdugo live workshop in Palm Springs. And I live about an hour and 20 minutes from Palm Springs. So I'm thinking, oh, I've got time. I'll gather my stuff. Okay, I come in. Everybody's circled up. I'm late to the party. Okay. <laughs> bad naughty <laughs> naughty girl i show up late and so every all the great seats were taken so they're like okay jen <laughs> there's two spots over here so i'm like facing oh, oh god I so thank you. god i saved the tea okay we didn't spill the tea y'all but we're gonna spill a little of it now so i'm sitting here and i'm like holy shit they sit oh, me like oh yeah i don't I'm, think we can swear on youtube oh, oh i'm so sorry that's Oops. okay that's oh, okay holy it's fine it's holy fine. smokes no one's gonna care that much holy smokes okay so we're sitting like this and i'm thinking my back is to everybody i'm like i got the worst seat in the house that's oh that's right you had a seat your seat was the back it was, it was the back. to me it was facing andrea which she's <laughs> lovely no no you know she's beautiful to look at but I couldn't see what was going on behind me, but that was my fault because I was late. And then we struck up a conversation and just totally hit it off. And I realized I actually had the best seat in the house. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Chin, and we've chin. been long friends ever since. That was 10 years ago, right? No, it was longer. Was it? It was 12 years ago. Hmm? Yeah, don't spill too much. I'm not yeah. spilling again <laughs> because I've already spilled I know, it I need on a little napkin stool. Oh, oh, my okay. mom made this little table. Oh, she did? Okay, let yeah. me get a paper towel. Uh, while no, you we're fill good. In the oh, here we go. Here we go. We okay, got some... we're good. Okay, so Jen and I, so... <laughs> we just got off the beach. Yes, we did. Um, 10 minutes ago. That's why um, we're a little bit excited about our tea time. <laughs> she made me walk really fast, too. I was like <laughs> power walking. Um, okay, so Jen, I'm Jen, and I met, and um, I think one of the reasons why, and I've told you guys this too, like we love the same colors. Mm -hmm. One of my questions is, what's your favorite color? If you had to pick one and only one, what is it? Yeah, it is a turquoisey, bluey, like a turquoise, turquoise. Like, uh, your like my earrings, hundred percent. Like my earrings, yeah. a little bit like this, but maybe a little greener. Yeah, um, yeah, like, like a sea foam. Yes, yes. I think mine might be the same. Sometimes I throw around them, like somewhere like in here. Sometimes I think it's pink, but oh. I always go to turquoise if I oh. had to pick. But the pink is such a gorgeous compliment to the turquoise. Yes, yeah, so I we mean, can pick too. We yeah, can pick. we yeah. can pick too. I love them. I love your colors. Um, so Jen and I, so she was painting. <laughs> she was staring at me. <laughs> but 
I told you guys this, like, I don't, when we have not opened oh. our rosé. Let me also uh -huh. just sidebar for one second. The main reason that Jen is here with me in the house is Jen lives eight-hour drive? Seven-hour yeah. drive? Yeah, seven-hour seven hour drive. Seven. Um, is that she needs to pick up her case, half a case of wine. Mm -hmm. So when we were in Tuscany, we went to this incredible villa and we wine tasted and we tasted so much wine that we decided to order a case. Yes, we did. <laughs> so we got um, five bottles each and olive oil mm -hmm. from this tiny little vineyard that is so amazing, right? So charming. So just delightful. The people, oh. the food, the wine, everything was absolutely delightful so we had to support them and bring a little memory back with us right so that's why you're here yes i am and we're we're here to get going with yes. the wine but we have not started yet and the do you remember what the guy told us to do when we cracked our first bottle recreate the experience yeah Mm -hmm. So we're kind of recreating it because my two kids are home. So <laughs> they weren't part of the experience. But, they but I time. am making Italian. I'm making, I haven't told you what I'm making. I'm no. making chicken Alfredo from <gasps> scratch. What? It's um, the chick from Magnolia's recipe. Oh my god! So it's kind of Italian, but Wait. it's Italian Wait enough. a minute. And I got Wait. a baguette from Gail's so we oh can. Oh, gosh. tell everybody about the olive oil story. Oh, okay. So because... Oh, that's part of what we're doing right after this is the baguette it is. part. It is. It's the baguette and the olive oil. So we, we went to this, we're walking through the cute little charming um, villages and things and tiny little cobblestone and we see this darling little restaurant with all this outdoor seating. And we said, oh, we're a party of four. Do you think, you know, you, we could have a seat? And they said, well, outside is full right now, but we can sit you in inside. And we said, okay, great. So they seat us in the back of the restaurant. <laughs> No one was there. Nobody was there. Except us. We're like, why are we in the back? What the what? Okay, so we're doing that. And then we ordered some bread. And we really wanted some olive oil and vinaigrette to dip it in. Because we were pretty hungry. We had been and out. And we're in Italy. And we're in Italy. So we're thinking, olive oil, bread, you know, vinegar, vinegar, yummy stuff. Well, we asked for it. And they just basically ignored us. Yeah. And then we ordered a salad. And they brought the olive oil to drizzle on the salad. And then one of the girls said, oh, can we keep that to dip our bread in? And... <laughs> He said, oh, no, this is not for the bread. This is for the salad. <laughs> and we went, oh, okay, so he, all right. He would not let us. And let us. He would not let us. No, we were shocked. But he we would not let us unless it was on our lettuce. That was it. Was yeah. not going to give us any olive oil unless it was on our lettuce. And that was that. Oh, yeah. my God. So sorry, that was bad. No, that was I, funny. I had to throw in a few that, weird. That was funny. I, I love See, puns. I, I told you she was really creative. She's really, really funny. Okay, so we, so she's here. We're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna have lots of fun. But we were just at the beach eating yummy gales and talking because mm -hmm. we are both doing a lot of retreats this year, mm -hmm. and we're coming up with like just all the ways that we can love on people mm -hmm. and special gifts that we're bringing and things we're doing and. Um, and so we were doing that. We came back here to to chat with you guys. We're chatting with my membership, my creative entrepreneurs tomorrow oh. before mm -hmm. Jen has, but we can't have too much wine then because no. we have to have our head on straight. Right. We're going to be paid. Okay. But okay. I do have some questions for Jen. Sure. That was the closest to my singing voice. I love your Just singing that. voice. Oh God, no, it's awful. Awful. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. I asked your first color. What is your favorite subject or thing mm -hmm. to paint? Mm -hmm. I love, I do love painting people. Yeah, you do an amazing I, job. I feel a a depth of connection to humanity, I would say, because it's not always just even that individual. It's just our shared experience as human beings that sometimes I get overwhelmed when I'm trying to capture the eyes or a little nuance. Or like if I'm painting somebody I know that's really yeah. special, like my kids. Um, I remember just being in tears a few times, just thinking about the sweet connection that they share and things like that. So it's very Aww. moving and almost spiritual yeah. oftentimes. And sometimes it's really frustrating when you can't capture those things and you're like, ah! You know, but Do you remember when we were in Florence and you were chasing random people down the alleys? <laughs> I was? No, to get oh, their photos. Oh, to get their photos. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Jen Jen um, loves to take people's photos, total strangers who are very like like that one waitress. Mm -hmm. And she was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then the other mom, the other woman who was like, no, you cannot take oh, my oh, picture. Oh, yeah, she did not want um, me to take her picture. But you love using photos as your reference. I do. And you also love 
digital with your portraits I or do. not? I do. I do like digital a yeah. lot. I feel like you can learn a lot from digital manipulation and from practicing with on, yeah. you know, digitally or taking uh, something that you're working on and trying things out digitally because mm -hmm. it's a really great way to do it without you know, messing up what you already have if you end up not going oh, that direction. Oh, you know what? I never thought about that. I love so that. So you're in Procreate? Yes. Okay, and yeah. and you're on the iPad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I met Jen, not met, when I, so Jen and I, I think I've said this too, so just ignore the all the repeats, okay? But when Jen and I met at Tracy's, it was a few years later when you texted me and said Jean was having a workshop. Yeah. We stayed together in Castle Rock. Remember that <laughs> The dump place. These oh days. yeah, it was a dump. It's like hookers on the outside. <laughs> yeah, remember? Oh, I don't remember the hookers. Oh yeah, it was hooker lane. I must have blocked When we that told out. Jean where we were staying, she's like, <laughs> "Oh my god." Okay, so anyway, anyway, ignore that part. Take that out of YouTube. Um, mm. but you jumped in the bed like we were came home from dinner and I was doing whatever drawing or just reading and you got in your bed and you had your iPad out and I was fascinated because then you started creating this face. Oh. On your iPad, I, uh -huh. I remember that, and um, it scared the crap out of me. The whole thing scares me. Like I would, I don't even know where I to begin. Oh. So if somebody's listening, yeah, today, and they're thinking about doing Procreate, mm -hmm. is there a another version? Is that what you should get? And is it is it hard to get going? Is it you know? It's kind of like the Kindle and the book. Mm -hmm. I still don't read Kindles, mm -hmm. right? Because. That whole, yeah. I just read paperback or I listen. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to get started in Procreate, do you have any advice for them? Um, like, do you have to buy the expensive program? Is there I did, cheaper programs? I didn't. I don't even think I paid for my program. Oh. I just paid for that Apple Pencil. Oh, And then Procreate's okay. free. And I would do, like, um, I would maybe watch some YouTube videos on a quick, like, that's a class for you. Like a quick... No, you should make a class. Oh, okay. Procreate. I should. Yeah. Like a really easy yeah. beginner's be Procreate. Okay, let us know in the comments if you think Jen should make a class for beginners who are wanting to learn how to make a face on Procreate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. I would love to hear your feedback yeah. on that for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty simple, but I do think knowing a few shortcuts and one of the best... Um, features that I found was when you hit a little arrow at the bottom of your iPad as you're doing a sketch, you can lift it, grab your photos, and drag it up and have your reference right next to you the whole time you're working, which I oh, work man. very, very heavily from um, references right. most of the time. So yeah. it's really helpful to have that right there as you're when you're working and then of course you can zoom in really close and get oh, all that great detail yeah. and zoom back out and all of those things so i love it. and then the layering the layering feature where you're adding layers and adding layers and then you can <clears throat> Keep either talking. i'm gonna get, find see if i can find this card you made me sure you can either get rid of the layers um or you can make them disappear or you can keep the layers so you're not actually um you're not actually uh affecting your your work that you're working on currently and you can try all kinds of things out and see if you like it or not. That Ooh. was on it, right? That was. Okay, that was you guys, are you ready to yeah. have your mind blown? Okay, ready? Jen made this. Can you see it? Is that, sorry, whoops, that way. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely stunning? Like ridiculous, right? Guess what? Jen, how did you make this? I made that in Procreate and I used the charcoal uh, brushes for that piece in Procreate. Yeah. And I used um, a copyright-free image from uh, Unsplash. I use a lot of copyright-free images from Unsplash for my references. For your references. Yeah. Is that beautiful? Do you sell these? I can't remember. I do sell prints of Big Love. That one's uh, Big Love. This one's called Big Love. Mm. And um, she gifted me this. And I will never give it away. Oh. I'm going to put it in a little frame. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, that was not even any of my questions. But <laughs> it's always amazing to me... Um, it's kind of like when I talk to Renee, oh, everybody's loving it. When it's oh, kind thanks, of like guys. Renee, when she does oils or, you know, um, things that I'm just so blown away by. And for you, not only are you incredible with your acrylics and your watercolors, but that to me is like, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even know how to begin. All right. So you're going to make a class for everybody on I am. how to I do am. it. I love it. Thank um, you. Okay. 
Do you have a practice that you do in the mornings or some sort of something that you like to do to kind of start your day? Not necessarily for art, mm. but just to be a creative human being. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I do. I didn't, I didn't always, but well, I mean, I get up in the morning and I have my cup of coffee, I have my water, my lemon water, and then I have my coffee and I do like to sit and now I will do like a contour sketch oh, or yeah, I'll do like a little bit of journaling. Mm -hmm. Um, I was recently listening to the, um, the what is it, the five minute morning or, or oh, the five minute, the what is it? 5 a.m. club? The 5 a.m. club. I got it right there. You, you right do? Right there on the bookshelf. Okay, yes. Yeah, the 5 a.m. club, I listened to that on Audible. Yeah. And it makes so much sense with yeah. the 20, 20, 20 practice. Yeah. So my husband has been working from home, working, I use that term lightly, the, the last six months only because he was kind of in between um, projects at work. So they didn't have a lot for him to do. So we would get have our coffee, sit, he would read, and I would Aww. do the the, the, um, the artist way. Oh, yes. And, but the three in, pages. The three pages, but I'm not a writer. So the three yeah. pages for me are challenging. I would rather do like daily doodles or maybe a, what I would do is do a quick little sketch and then a little bit of writing. That it's That's perfect. Like perfect for me. Yeah. Um, and he would have his coffee and then we would get up and then we'd go take the dog for a walk. So that's... And you feel refreshed. Yeah, feel refreshed. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think... And it's interesting too, like it could, could you imagine doing that in the afternoon? Like you would never settle your brain to no. do it. Yeah, no, Morning exactly. is so good to start it. Morning's my favorite. I was really proud of my son today because he's like, mom, I've got these ideas for summer. And what it was like his top 10 fit fit. He's really into lifting weights and being healthy. And he follows like all these TikTok people. And I'm like, don't buy any of their product. But he did um, tell me, he goes, one of the things I want to do is not be on my phone in the morning mm -hmm. as much, mm -hmm. <laughs> as much. And I was yeah. like, wow. And, um, that is something that they say like the morning practices are really good because it's it i was just listening this morning about this it clears your mind mm -hmm. and it makes you it just rests all the noise and it clears your mm -hmm. mind and it gets you ready for the next day so you're not waking up worried anymore you're not waking up like oh my god i have so much to do and i can't get it mm -hmm. all done and this person needs this person has a problem and this person has a problem Instead, you wake up and you get excited for this time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, and you encourage me with that too, because I know that your morning practice has been very important in your journey, at, especially as an artist, and and having being this um, self motivated person that you have to be when you report to yourself and no one else. Yeah, it takes a certain um, amount of discipline and showing up every day, which you're so good at. And I think about you and doing your morning practice. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I know that like you doing that one year of drawing oh, flowers yeah. the, every day, the, day, the daily, thing. The daily that drawing, helped. that was yeah. incredible. Yeah. And I remember just watching not only your, <laughs> your sketches evolve, but your business grow and your focus yeah. become more Fine tuned, and I and it was just really Aww, inspiring and motivating. Thank you. So yeah. yeah, and I think it was because doing that every day, I realized that I could do the morning thing every day. Mm -hmm. Like there wasn't really an excuse. <clears throat> and so what Jen's saying is so true too. Like you may not be a writer, you may not be a reader, you mm -hmm. may not be a drawer. You can substitute anything. Mm -hmm. I think it's having like a few little things that you can do. For 10, 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. I throw in some meditation. That's part of like me getting still. It's not always easy. Mm -hmm. My mind is all over the place. Some of the writing ends up being my grocery list. It doesn't even matter. You're like, you're just doing it. Yeah. Mine would become like prayers um, pretty much. So that would be yeah. a lot of it. Just like, just things and like that. More even, personal. Um, Cameron, um, mm -hmm. what's your bucket? Oh yeah, um, yeah, Julia, Julia, Julia Cameron. Yeah, what's your bucket? That <laughs> one. <laughs> the second time I've forgotten her name. Julia oh my Cameron. God. I'm not that. gonna have. Look how hot I'm getting. It's so hot in here. I gotta oh. open the door. It's, it's what the sun is Julia coming. will says is that if somebody can't, if somebody um, can't read, like doesn't know what to say, you write. I don't know what to say. Yeah, that's exactly. all you do. Or you write. This freaking sucks. <laughs> I do not like oh, yeah. doing this every day. And that might be. That's all you need. That might be your three pages. And I had a friend of mine who, who tried to, we did a very small study group. And and that's what she wrote. She, she's like, I just wrote how much I hated writing. Hold on, I got to shut the other. Can you guys hear all that noise? That was a big, big, bad truck driving by. Okay, so you're singing, which you sang to us, which is so amazing. 
Jen is an incredible singer, songwriter, songstress. My husband is like, who's this girl? It's Jen. My I'm like, I gotta tell everybody about things. I gotta tell him about the Facebook thing. That is so funny. Oh yeah. Um, and ukulele. All right. So tell us about like, did you sing? Have you been singing your whole life? And is something you just picked up? And the ukulele. Tell everybody about that. Sure. Okay. So my my mom's mom, my grandma, was a violinist. And she played for the Charleston um, Symphony. And she mm -hmm. did? She did. She was That's a, an amazing symphony. She was a wonderful um, violinist. Beautiful. And so when my mom wanted to play the violin, she said, oh, no, you can't because it'll stress you out too much. She was afraid that it was going to stress my mom out because I think it must your, have stressed her out. Your mom said this. My, my mom's mom told my mom, oh, oh, I gotcha. don't play it because it's going to stress you out. Okay. I don't want you to get nervous. So she did not. She never really pursued music, but she, she would go around the house and she'd just go, la, and belt out a tune as she was in the kitchen or whatever. And I thought, oh, mom, you have such a pretty voice, but she never wanted to sing. But my dad played classical guitar. So we have we had music in the oh, family. Oh, wow. I loved singing from the time I was three. I, I probably sang more than I drew, honestly, wow. when I was a little younger. And then I joined the high school choir, yeah. but I was alto, so not like, I didn't have a high voice. I never felt comfortable in my upper range or my falsetto. Um, but then my son started singing and he went, he went, I said, well, let's go get you some voice lessons. Yeah. So I took him to a teacher and I liked her so much. I said, you know what? She was so reasonable. I said, well, why don't you take an, a half an hour? Then I'll take a half an hour. And I fell in love with this teacher. Wow. She's I didn't know that. classically trained and she is so like encouraging and yeah. warm and yeah. just lovely. So then I just started taking lessons with her and she encouraged me out of my comfort zone. And then I started playing the ukulele because it's very um, open and inviting and not too serious. And so um, I started a little ukulele group during COVID and that was a lot of fun. And yeah, and it's a lot easier than the guitar to play. So yeah, it's fun. It's a great communal Thing and she, and then, and then all of a sudden, so I just have met Jen and we're doing art together. And then I'm now I'm on her Facebook group and all of a sudden she's singing like this unbelievable song. And then you sing just really just to your audience, like this view and no, and just acoustic. Just acoustic. Yeah. Cause I don't, I can't like sing So how do people. you get the kahunas to like mm. sing live on, I'm just gonna shut this up that one. That's how okay. Do you, how do you, how do you do that live? You know what? It, it, That's it, crazy. Well, it wasn't really live. It was it was video recorded, and it probably took me multiple times to get <gasps> it. It did to a point where I would actually share it. And but I feel like our voice. I I'm a very very strong believer and advocate for um, all art modalities being utilized for healing like self-expression is very very cathartic so i think vocalizing mm -hmm. i think movement dancing um art acting writing all of it um is just really really cathartic and i think yeah. if we don't i love um oh my gosh what's her name edith eager wrote a book the gift and the choice and she is a holocaust survivor oh and wait is she still alive she is, and she and, lives in La Jolla. And she's done a lot of speaking, right? She does. Yeah, I think I know who this person is. Yes. Yeah, very inspirational. Very inspirational. Right. And she says what... Her whole family passed away, I believe. E yes, she lost both of her parents like very shortly after they got to Auschwitz. And then she was asked to perform for the Dr. Death, the guy they used to call yeah. Dr. Death, who was the decision maker of who, who lived and who didn't. And oh, man. she had to quickly... Um, dance because she was a dancer and she loved dance and he right. loved performers and so it saved her life she basically danced for her life and she ended up she lived through it and her sister lived through it and she became a therapist and she encourages people um, to to basically just live their best lives even though they have really hard experiences but to find strength and courage through those experiences and then to share their their lessons and their joy. And it's just really, she's very inspiring. Oh my gosh. But she says, what comes out of you doesn't make you sick. What stays in there does. And oh, it just gives that me the is chills. so good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, that is so good. good. Yeah. All that stress people hold on to. Mm -hmm. So being creative lets you release some of that mm -hmm. angst and stress, right? It does. Yeah. It does. And I feel like it's a wonderful tool for self discovery. Yeah. It really is. I love that quote.
Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, we can maybe I wanna, stick it in there. Yeah, I want to read verbatim, that book. That's not verbatim, but it's It sounds close. amazing. All right, so we'll put the link to the book and yes. the author. I've heard her. I've heard about her. Um, okay, switching gears mm -hmm. a tiny bit. What is something with your art that you're super excited about in 2024, like this year, mm -hmm. next year? Like, what have you been exploring with your art? I noticed your palette has changed a tiny bit. So yeah. is there also another medium you're kind of working towards or subject matter that you're all of a sudden like thinking about? Like all of a sudden I'm doing more abstracts mm -hmm. than I was before. Are you doing yeah. anything? I love that. Um, I'm doing more landscapes right now mm. and I'm really enjoying that and working a little bit with encaustics, um, just, a, just a tad. So um, fun. And I love watercolor and inks. Like, I, I mm. just, I loved seeing your work oh, when like, we were in Italy. Like that, those inks? No, no, I'm sorry. I am just mean um, pen. Pen and oh, ink and oh, watercolor. Yeah. Like I the loved, micron. Mm -hmm. The micron. Mm -hmm. I loved watching Andrea work live. It was so cool when we would just be out in a little village and she'd just sit there. Having our vino. Having our vino or our oh, tea. Oh, how fun was that? And she would just whip out this incredible little colorful oh gosh, gorgeous stop. sketch of these architectural sketches and things and i'm like what <laughs> no. you just whip that sucker out <laughs> super like just your so attention fun. to detail and your line work is so like oh my gosh spot on just right. really really lovely but Thank anyway you. so that inspired me to want to do more watercolor mm. and microns okay um but what i'm super excited about for 2024 yes, yes. is i'm doing two art retreats yep Okay, tell, two, uh, no, three. Three. yeah, yeah. All right, tell everybody your two. Okay, so um, my sister and I are teaching in the south of France, actually the same venue that Andrea is going to be teaching at. One week before. One week. It's so, like, it if is. we cannot figure out a way to be there for, like, one day, <laughs> Harrison, who's in charge, might be like, girls. <laughs> Oh, we'd be a lot. I can't together, help in a you. Good way. I, know I know that there's rosé all day there. So, I, <laughs> oops, I know. So, and so that we're really excited about that. My sister's going to teach mosaics, and I'm going to do some colorful landscapes. And um, are you taking oh, people on location? Or are you we doing? Are. Okay. Yeah, we're taking people on location, not for the mosaics though, but, but right. for yeah, but for, for, the landscapes. for the landscapes and florals and things yeah. like that. We're going to do some ikebana. Um, and then floral planning with that. And we're bringing my mom for her 85th birthday oh, to France. Oh, that's so awesome. She's so excited. She's never been. She doesn't really know what to do with herself. And then I'm going to Italy uh, the end of August for eight days. Um, in It's uh, the Hotel where, Lyon. Where is that? Yeah, it's in, it's near Ancona. Where's so that? It's on the, uh, my it's geography on the east is. coast. Uh, it's like slightly okay there's the boot yeah so it's like central yeah but, but ancona is on the east coast okay um more it's like right kind of in the middle but maybe a tad bit more north okay of of the country and and we're about a two and a half hour um car ride inland and i think south from ancona okay so it's it's called le marquet yeah and it looks really beautiful and we stay on top of a hill oh my god and i've seen the photos of yeah, that place the hotel leon looks really charming and um i really liked the uh the host of the retreat um her name is madeline and she's been lovely to work with so yeah um i'm really looking forward to that and then uh yeah so i have those two retreats to and look forward to for sure there's another one there's another one. Where's Portugal? Oh, yeah. Portugal is in 2025. Oh, it's in 2025. That one's okay. in 2025. And what yeah. month is that in 2025? That is in May, of 20, at, right after Mother's Day in okay. 2025. Yeah. All right. And so when you think of retreats, because mm -hmm. I'm rounding this up to a conversation, when you think of retreats and... Do you remember the first one you ever did? Like, do you remember coming home? Like, not ones that you could drive to, but, like, okay. ones that you went away. Do you remember, like, how filled up you were with oh. this? Oh, incredible. Oh, you yeah. can't even put into words. No. It's it's definitely life. It's a life-changing experience. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, the, the connections that you make... Mm -hmm. Are, well, we made one. Oh, absolutely. And we were just doing a, I mean, we did a workshop. It wasn't really yeah. even a retreat. We just oh, did a workshop. Oh, that's true. We but were, that's okay. But still. We, were, did, we had our own retreat. We did. We, <laughs> we totally created our we own like retreat. We would meet in the morning. Remember you wanted to go jogging? God, that was awful. <laughs> Jen was like, you must have been on some like athletic kick or something. She's like, we're going to go jogging. I was like, okay. And she did it. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> I will tell you one thing right here. 
I will never on any retreat ask you to go jogging with me, <laughs> ever. Nor will I, I promise. Do you still jog? I do. Oh, I man. just started again recently. Does like your body hurt? It doesn't. I, no, you know what? It, Emotion is lotion. It to, motion is lotion, motion, but and that, for me, that's just walking. I, and then that's then that's yeah. really good. Yeah, I, yeah, just yeah. nothing gives me the endorphins and that sense of like just that rush, like yeah, like running does. And if I don't do it, I forget about it. But I, it's it's a I have to push myself way harder to get out there and do it now. Okay, so these retreats that we're talking about, I would say they're like fifty percent art, sixty percent art, and then there's this yeah. whole cultural kind of experience Stop. okay but i have to tell everybody um what my husband said about the thing about the <laughs> facebook thing it yes. was so funny you yes. guys so jen i had asked jen so i had gone to um the year before with renee and um we were on don Pittman's retreat cottage table experience and jean was there renee were there and i told you guys about that i think last week i can't even remember and then I knew that Dom was having another one in Tuscany, and I called Jen. I'm like, Jen, come on, do this thing with me. And at first, we were, that was a big deal. It mm -hmm. was not, shall I say, it was inexpensive. It was an investment. It was an investment. <laughs> It was an investment, and a it couple times a during one. the year, Jen was like, oh, I'm not too sure if I could go. And I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> Dude, we can figure this out. You can't. Anyway, um, so we were leaving. So Jen was flying out of, where did you fly out of? LAX? Yeah. Okay, Jen was flying out of LAX. I was flying out of San Francisco. And my husband calls me. I was in the airport. He goes, there's one of my friends is going. <laughs> one of my friends is in the airport right now going to the exact same place you're going. And I was like, oh, wow, that's so crazy. Because, you know, it's a very small group yeah. of people. Small world. In Tuscany, in this villa. I'm like, uh -huh. who is it? He goes, <laughs> Jen Boot knew. <laughs> Jen Boot knew. That's hysterical. So Boot knew. Mark, my husband, um, one day I asked him to help promote my work when it was like I don't know six years ago, and he's on he doesn't he he's on Facebook, but he doesn't use Facebook. He goes, okay, what do I do? I go, I don't know. Like tell everybody I'm going to be at this art market. It was like some art market thing. So he went and he accepted every single Facebook friend who had ever asked him. And then he went and added as anybody possible, like Facebook would say, if you like this person, you might like this person. Oh, yeah. So my husband friended so many people. Jen was one of them who you accepted him. <laughs> you didn't even know it. Well, I um, recognize the name. Probably. Yeah, probably. And Maybe so anyway, not. he was so excited that his high school friend <laughs> was going in the same place that we were going yeah yeah we That's were just funny. um we were just talking today like some of the what are some of our favorite things and um i think we are such good travel mates because we yes. like so many of the same things yes okay um what else i was going to ask you okay so you're doing retreats i'm doing retreats i just want to let everybody know today tomorrow renee and i are opening the doors to our retreat so you need to get on that wait list 9 a.m I think there is a hundred plus people on the list. Woo! There's 20 spots. So I asked Jen, Jen, would you want to come to my house to do a retreat with me? Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Absolutely. <laughs> so if you want to have fun, and I'm talking F U N. Fun. F U N. Uh, that, all, that actually doesn't. Capital. Sound. N. Wait, that doesn't. <laughs> F U N. That sounds a little weird. I know. Okay, we gotta change the word. But we're gonna have fun. Um, Jen and I are wanting to. We're gonna put a retreat together. So uh, we'll figure it out. If um, for some reason you can't get into the one that we are announcing tomorrow, I am talking to this sweet girl to see if she'd come up and and help teach. So um, anyway, we're really <laughs> <laughs> those smiley faces. That's right, I Libby. I love it. I love that um, smiley face, Libby. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. She's oh, hot. I got another. I got another <laughs> thing. One last thing. This is way longer than our tea. My tea is cold and done, but it's been I so much fun. love you guys. And you know what? How often do I get guests in the house? I mean, I've had two in two weeks, but that's not going to stay like that. I love it. Okay. Do you have any advice mm -hmm. for anybody who is just starting out or dabbling? Or do you have any creative advice for anybody um, watching out here? And there's Manta. If you have any advice for anybody. I love it. Um, Thank you, Manta. For their practice, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? Because, sorry, yes, let, no, me, okay. let me just pose the question. Yeah. A lot of people in the communities that I run and have, have a lot of imposter syndrome. Yeah. It's a really big deal. So when Betty Franks was in the house, when she mm -hmm. was in our seat, 
we were talking about ways to overcome imposter syndrome. Do you have any advice or any thoughts on that? Um, one way I would say sh limit your social media. Oh yeah, that's good. Because it's so easy to do that constant comparing and constant comparing um, and feel like you should be doing more or you should be doing it like somebody else and that's just not true because yeah. only you can create art the way that you um, were created to express yourself. Um, so that would be one thing. And I would say um, maybe set a timer for, your, for a painting mm. that you wanna do or mm. some sketching that you wanna do. And set some parameters so that there's because it's it's odd, but it but the more parameters you have, sometimes the more freedom that you have within those parameters. And mm. I know it sounds almost like an oxymoron, but I find that I I don't care as much if I just say, okay, I'm just gonna create for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna try to mm. sketch this teacup for 10 minutes, and it is what it is. And it doesn't not yeah. to make it precious, mm -hmm. just to have that experience of pen to paper visual perception, developing those skills little by little. Um, I would say those two things, and I, there was one other thing that popped in my head, and now I, oh, and just follow your curiosity. If you're curious about something, do it. It's just art, just try it, yes. explore it. A yes. color, a palette, uh, a medium. Yeah. Don't be afraid, it's, it's only art, and yeah. it's only gonna help you grow and learn through whatever process that is. Yeah, that's really good advice. There is one part that what something that you said that is so true and important is the, the setting the timer. I think the reason why um, I like to set for me, it's a little longer, but I do set timers when I paint because what I do sometimes if I don't set a timer is I get to a point where I'm, I'm liking it and I'm liking it. I'm hating it. I'm hating it. It's awful. I'm going to rip it up. I'm liking it again. It's awesome. I'm really loving it. And then it's usually around the time to be like, let me just get up from my desk mm -hmm. and walk away, go outside, go have a cookie. Yes. Where are our cookies? Oh, our cookies oh, are our cookies. right here. Jen brought cookies from Switzerland for mm -hmm. us. So there I thought go. they were from Milan. She goes, I bought you cookies from, from Milan. I'm like, oh, you did? That's so <laughs> awesome. And I go, but they say they're from Switzerland. <laughs> she goes, oh, yeah, I was in Switzerland too. <laughs> she was there. Dark. They're, they're Sorry. good. Okay, so anyway. If you end up going past the point of you can overwork something really easily, right? I do it more times yeah. than I don't. Yeah. And I think at the shorter time frame you have, mm -hmm. then you get into a habit of stopping. And then there's nothing better than looking at your art again with new eyes after mm -hmm. you've had a break, either if it's an afternoon or the next day or the next week or whatever. And sometimes it's just leaving it and coming back again you have a whole new perspective so true and I that helps with, couldn't agree more yes you know getting your practice going mm -hmm. and the social media thing i'm <laughs> looking at my my blind dog right now is trying to get in the house oh. he's trying to come in here can you come hello scout come here make him wait come on scouty. Scouty. this way come on he scouty. loves jen come he's on, all scouty. like i've got come a on, new sweet. friend he's in the so house. sweet come here hi, you're scout. Scout. Hi, there, sweetheart. He can't Hi. see very well. There he is. Hi. He's got. He's a little it's bit of a. Okay. He's our he's lab. Very sweet. Come here, buddy. Very sweet. We bonded very quickly. Yeah, yeah we did. He, he, he probably he loves my dog. All too. new pets. Aww. He's got new pets. So sweet. Um, so sweet. But I do think that the social media can be really, really tough mm -hmm. on imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. And what you also said was everybody is unique and has their own voice. Mm -hmm. Even if it looks like somebody else's or you've been taking classes, doesn't matter. Just um, keep on keep on working it and mm -hmm. just remember art is play. It is. It's just for fun. It, it's for fun. And if it's more, that's okay too. But but I think if we take it ourselves too seriously, sometimes I know if I do that, then it, it, it just, it almost, it just inhibits my my creative yeah. freedom. And, and to me, that's always what I'm striving for is freedom in my work. I yeah. just love that feeling. Yeah. yeah. Is she the best? Aw, thank She's you. She's the best. Love thank you. you so much, you all, for putting up with me for, I don't even know how long this was for, but probably well, about we're supposed to be like long. 10 minutes and we're at 39 minutes and 27 seconds. You wow. see right up there. So anyway. Oh, yeah. It was so all fun. right, you guys. I had so um, much fun. Oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. I don't Thank know you. what we're going to talk about. I'll figure it out. Thank you, Libby. I'll figure it out as, for, as we go. Oh, wait. Wait, in. wait. Okay. Oh, hold oh. on, you guys. 
I meant, well, I'll be talking about this in my plume membership, but Jen made these earrings, okay? This is one of the first, oh my God, I can't believe we forgot to talk about this. Okay. All right, so Jen, tell everybody okay. about the chick. I'll, I'll keep it very brief. So my bestie, Christina Pulver, and I started mm -hmm. making these guitar Kathy. pick um, oh. earrings. We started painting on earrings together. Well, we made them together and then I started painting on them and she's like, oh, you could sell those. And I said, no, I can't because I don't sell things. I'm not good at that. She goes, well, I am. So we started a small business and, um, yeah. and then I wanted to use some of what we were doing to give back to the autism community. And I asked Andrea and a few other artists if they would mind donating. Tracy Verdugo did it Tracy too. Tracy Verdugo did. She was so generous too. She's like, take as many of my images as you want and use them on your earrings. As long as you give me some free earrings, I'm okay with it. Which I thought was so generous. Yeah. And Andrea was super generous. And um, and so we raised, I don't even remember how much, $1,200 for autism. So much money. Um, which was just it was just nice. It was so good. And it was they're called really chick good. picks. Chick picks. Yep. Are Guitar they, pick are they retired? No, I still sell them. Yeah. Twelve years later, I still I, oh. I have a few pairs on my website, but I need to add some more. Okay, so love the earrings and your charity. Oh, she's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. It's it's a it's a charity that's near and dear to my heart. She's so. so awesome. All right, so I'm gonna link to Jen's website, and then when she does her class, I'll link to that class. But she has classes on her website. She has jewelry, and she has retreat information because your Italy mm -hmm. retreat mm -hmm. and your is your Portugal up yet? That's no, not up but yet, your Italy but is open. Italy's open. There are a few spots left. Yeah, um, and France that's is in closed. But Italy, end of yeah. August. End of August. End of August. It's like August thirty first through September seventh. So. Okay. And yeah. Jen said that any of the art supplies she doesn't use, she's going to leave for my group. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Which is really nice. Next time, I'm going to teach the week after yeah, you. Okay. I think we'll yeah. work that out. That'll, yeah. work, that'll oh work out nicely, too. Or maybe we'll even do a little overlap. That'd be super Wouldn't fun. Wouldn't it be fun? It'd be so fun. See if Harrison will let us. All right. That'd be cheers, so cool. you guys. We're going to go crack our rosé and baguette and <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> That's my Italian. Ciao for now. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Let's see if I can...